Good evening and welcome to Ibrook Stadium. This is the match postponed a short time ago following the sad passing away of the Dundee United chairman, Eddie Thompson. These two sides emerge in a cool, crisp evening in Glasgow. Two form sides in the SPL and a fascinating match to come. And after that five-goal mauling of Inverness Cali Thistle at the weekend, it's no surprise that Walter Smith named the same starting 11 tonight, which means Barry Fergus is again kept on the bench. Chris Boyd partners Kenny Miller again in attack, looking to add to the 10 goals he scored this season. A remarkable six in the last three games. Nacho Novo will again operate from the left flank. Dundee United have had to replace striker Roy Ugono in order to up against Falkirk on Saturday. The replacement is the Spaniard Francesco Sandaza. Otherwise, Craig Levine makes no changes in that match, reflecting his satisfaction with the performance despite the nil-nil draw. The system will stay the same, 4-4-2 with Sandaza, partnered by the Irishman Warren Feeney in attack. Morgado Gomez and Scott Robertson by great energy in midfield. And look out for 21-year-old fullback Paul Dixon, a young man with a very cultured left foot. So Dundee United coming here with uh, substantial confidence reflecting the fact that uh, they've won six and gone one of the last seven matches. So it's Willow Flood and Scott Robertson that get the game underway. And it's Robertson in midfield straight away, the former Dundee player signed in the summer. It's turned out to be a splendid acquisition for the United squad. This is Sendaza's first touch on the ball, tackled well by David Weir. And United have... Throw. Well, I mentioned the two form teams in the SPL. Rangers with uh, one defeat in the last nine matches. Two defeats all season, in fact. One against St. Mary in the league and that uh, tragic one against uh, Kaunas in the Champions League qualifier. But here is Mendez's first contribution to the play. Another excellent pass. This is Davis. Broadfoot supporting on the outside. Well policed all the way back, though. Some very good backtracking work there by Craig Conway for Dundee United. This is an attempt to pick out Kenny Miller in the middle. Right again, and then comes Davis. A point saved by Zaluska. Excellent attempt on goal right at the start of the match from Steve Davis. Well, he comes in on his left foot here, the angle is tight, but he certainly worried the loose game goal. Good start from young Davis, all the out of the national. So an early opportunity on a set piece. Kevin Thompson playing that in left footed. Commanding figure of Lee Wilkie gets there first. And now the counter attack for the United. They do have plenty of pace up front. Conway is quick, Flood is quick. Gomez holding off uh, Nacho Novo, and United get the throw. Gomez, a bundle of energy in midfield, along with Robertson, they have a key role here to play against Mendes and Thompson in the heart of that uh, Rangers midfield. In fact, with Davis tucking in from the right, it really is frequently three in the centre of midfield for Rangers. Something I'm sure that Craig Levine will have considered before the match in his tactical setup. Here's Sandaza showing good control. Put out by Feeney. Too high for Flood. It was well marked by Papach. Not much chance there for the Irishman. Not usually too. Levine is in the dugout for the first half of the match. Normally starts the game in the director's box. This is Kenny Miller now, on his own for the moment. Good closing down work there by Wilkie and Gomez. This is Papach. Wilkie across there to Flood. This is Dixon. Bouguera seemed to be caught there by Robertson. Bouguera looks towards the referee for some assistance and Julie gets it. Now Davis, space on the left for Novo. Chance to attack Dylan. Very pacey coming inside. Well, the engine did a very good shooting opportunity there, Novo, but uh, the final shot was rather pulled. 
He's frustrated, all right. It's a very fine pass that Davis picking out Novo with a lot of space there because Dylan does tuck in to protect the penalty box. And the ball's on the other side of the pitch. Here is Novo now with a shot. Big disappointment. Three goals to his name this season, that's your Novo. Kick out well controlled there by Davis for Boyd. He's giving it away though. Now Gomez and Robertson. Good pass. Sean Dillon now. Just blood ahead. Good composed play by United. No reason why they can't be full of confidence than the United. Played 35 minutes on Saturday at uh, the Vulcan Stadium. With ten men. And didn't look in too much trouble at any time. That's good play for defence again. Calmly out from Wilkie to Dillon. Bugera getting the better there of Pini. A lot of time and space here for Broadfoot. Now Mendez, former Portsmouth man. Davis in the centre of midfield again. Miller's dropped deep. This is Broadfoot. Easy one to deal with for Dillon. Still, Rangers maintaining the pressure with possession. Davis and a very disappointing attempt to pick out Novo coming in from the left. The effect, of course, is for uh, Rangers they can go to a 4 3 3 very quickly with Novo pushing forward on the left. That's Dixon. Tini causing a problem there for Broadfoot, but the ball has gone out of play. Warren Feeney still looking for his first under United goal. The man from Northern Ireland. So patient start again from the back for Rangers with Sasha Papach. Miller again coming short. This is Papach once more. Well tackled there by Blood. Good strong challenge there. And the decision goes. On the United's way, Craig Thompson, the referee, indicating that the last touch came off Papach. Oh, Flood does a terrific job for the United, both in attack and defence. This is Feeney. Now Flood. In the middle is Robertson. Oh, Walter Smith, a former Dundee United assistant manager, will be treating his former club with great respect here. Showing the kind of form which really was expected in the start of the season. Slow starters, but uh, it's all forgotten now. That's well taken down by Flood. Excellent defending by Papach. Very strong challenge. He thought the last touch came off Flood. Conway's corner. That's a good header, blocked well by Miller. Well, Feeney looking towards the lines and hoping for a handball decision against Kenny Miller, but uh, well, hardly been a deliberate one. This is no goal now. A lot of pace shown there by Young Dixon coming across. Very good covering play by the young fullback. Well, Novo is very quick indeed, so uh, Dixon had to be sharp to get across there. Mendes now with the Rangers throw. This is Miller, so lively, gets about a very good effect up front, poor pass that time though. This is Sindaza, looking for Pini. Cover there from David Weir for Rangers. Well, promising start to the match, and United demonstrating no inferiority complex, that's for sure. Coming here, they lost twice here last year, they won 2-0 in the league. Did have some success though at Tannadice, only one of the two matches there. Novo again back with Papach. This is Thompson. Novo reacting to a call from Boyd who's gone offside. It was Boyd, I'm sure he was flagged there. Nimble play again from Dixon. That's Feeney's layoff. Good play. Conway turning it back here to Gomez. 
Now it's with Dylan. Flood hugging the touchline. Kini well policed by Bouguera. Bouguera taking no chances there with the header out. Could have let that go to McGregor. Decided not to. Dixon finds Conway. Testing Broadfoot now. We did well to get across. We get a good position to the clear. Broadfoot brings it out to Mendez. This is Boyd. Off goes Miller. Space created then for Novo. That was down to Miller's run. Rangers unlucky there. Novo couldn't take that on the move. Right with Boyd again. Patience shown again by Rangers. Miller under pressure. Good defending there. And Robertson in trouble there against combination of Davis and Miller. This is Davis again, finding a space to go through. <laughs> Super play from Davis. Rangers have the lead. Well, very good. Exchange of passes there between Miller and Davis. He gets his second goal of the season with a very fine shot at goal here. Stepping through between two players, angling that across the face of Zaluska, who could do nothing about that at all. Mendes at the heart of it all initially, Miller's pass. Miller cap to go through there for Davis. That was top class play. Excellent footwork shown there by Davis. And the perfect start for Rangers in front of this huge crowd. They have the lead. Well, it's been a good, composed, assured start that uh, by Rangers. And they have the reward for all that. Sometimes there can be some excellent play with no end product, but that's not the case here. As I could control that, it's a throw down to Rangers. I'm sure that's just what uh, Craig Levine was very anxious to avoid when Dundee United an early goal against at uh, Ibrox. Oh, was a major setback, it makes it an uphill struggle. United, though, have shown lots of resilience and character under Craig Levine, and he'll be looking for that again here. Lee Wilkie's going forward for this uh, free kick from Dixon. He was the target, gets up well. Turned away there by... Kevin Thompson, the big threat in the box, Wilkie. Dylan's throw goes back to Darren Dodds. Dixon asking a lot there of Conway with the pass. He was very close to Mart, the former United player, Conway. But this is a chance for Feeney. Good play again by Conway. Ball in the box, one well by Weir. A chance, difficult chance there for Robertson on the ball. It didn't come down quickly enough for a young Scott Robertson, but it all came from a, from a good angle ball by Conway, headed out here by David Weir. Control with the head, and the volley snatched over the top. Uh, it just would not come down quickly enough for the young sir, and uh, he's unlucky there. Since header collected here by Miller, back it comes to Papach. No, still hugging the touchline. Rangers, of course, with a chance to go back to the top of the SPL. Three points this evening. Goal difference resolved by the 5 0 win against Inverness Cali Thistle at the weekend. Well, the vital factor for Dundee United now is not to concede a second quickly. They're very mindful of what happened to Inverness Kelly Thistle when they were slack defensively early on. And Dodds would take no chances there. That's good play by the very experienced centre-back. Here's Dylan. Dodds again. Very well aware of his positioning there. Realised that Zaluska was in a little bit of difficulty. 
Afini. Tackled well by Bugera. Pass from Mendes, too close to Dillon. That's good play by Sean Dillon. Away from Novo. Not the angle he was looking for. He's trying to find Warren Feeney in the box, but uh, he only had that one target. It's a potential problem for the United with uh, Francesco Sandaza moving wide as often as he can. Give an extra dimension to the attack, but it does mean when the ball comes in. The shortage of uh, men in Tangerine and Black. That's careless play by Dodds. Here's Mendes. Well, had Miller got a touch on that, Rangers might have had a second. Was relieved. Robertson now picks out Dillon. Well, you certainly can't fault uh, Sandeza for his movement. He's been restless right to the start of the match. Trying to find space away from these Rangers defenders. Dylan to flood. Turned away there by Papach in the end. Well, the tension's gone right out of the crowd, of course, so that early goal for Rangers would, of course, be restored should United be able to mount a comeback for the moment. I think they're just trying to bed into the game, get some passes going. Get a real foothold in the match. We get his header designed for Broadford, but picked up by Conway. This is good play from United. Here's Gomez. Angling that for Sandaza. Ah, it's a fine attempt. He scored. Francesco Sandaza equalizes for Dundee United. A superbly constructed goal. A joy for the small band of tumbling United supporters. Oh, Craig Levine applauds. What a response that's been from his team. Some very good play indeed. Bugera will regret the header, which was cut off so easily there by Conway. Gomez picked out the pass for Tandada, and that's a very good attempt under pressure. Just wide of McGregor. Sandaza moving well. Going through that challenge. The late challenge came from Papach, but Sandaza was determined enough. Well, a scorer of very important goals, and as a starting out to be. I mentioned the fact that he has already scored twice for the United. That's offside. No problem there. Kenny Miller not happy. Well, Sandaza has scored a total now of three goals for Dundee United. An equaliser against Celtic, a winner against Aberdeen, and now an equaliser against Rangers. That's impressive. Well, manager always looking for uh, players who will score not only a lot of goals but important goals in big matches when the chips are down. Not looking for a guy who'll score two when they're leading by 4 0, but someone who'll get the vital goal, which means one point or three points. Sandaza certainly established himself in that regard. Great play by Conway, excellent play by the young winger, and the pass was a full one though to Robertson, he bundles into Kevin Thompson, gives the free kick away, that's Mendes now to Miller, this is Novo, that patch overlaps, Novo going inside, finds Mendes, that's for Boyd, he's offside! Another superb pass though from Mendes. Must have been a very tight call once again. Well, said assistant have a lot of work to do here. Let's check on this one once again. Bit of ball played there by Novo to Mendes. Well, the assistant's right once again. It's a good call. Well, is it a good start to the match? Ronis Kerrigan. Flood forward, return pass from Sandaza, misses him out, good play by Boyd, this is Mendes. Pedro Mendes once again, has Thompson available behind. Space on the right for Broadfoot. Well, 
it's remarkable how much a game has improved by a couple of goals early on, especially if they're one apiece. Both sides now realise they can find the net, they have confidence to go forward. Excellent play by Mendes once again. Novo's cross, awkward, very awkward. Well, Darren Dodds, but I'm lucky there, he didn't make contact. Very dangerous ball is by Novo as he comes inside. This angle, let's watch Darren Dodds have a swipe at that, he's lucky he missed it, he could easily have turned that into his own goal. So calmly back from Dylan to Wilkie. That foothold I mentioned has been established now by Dundee United. Feeney doing well in front of Wea. Figueroa's head. The pass goes astray again. Conway collects. Figueroa's a man who tried a very good attempt. A good cushion Henry aimed towards Broadford, which was cut off by Conway for the United goal. Safely back there by Dylan. Now Gomez. Does it? Conway again, drawing in confidence at a good start to the match. One back well by Boyd. Strong play by Chris Boyd. He was fouled in the end by Conway. A free kick goes to Rangers. See Boyd using his physique there, and he was wrestled down eventually by Conway. Good call by Craig Thompson, the referee. It's Thompson's pass. Boyd to Miller. Offside against Broadfoot. Yet another one turned in calmly by Boyd, but to no effect. Well, let's check on this one too. So far, the wreck has been good. And it's good once again. Well, the crowd's not happy, but they have no complaint at all so far. Some very good calls by the far side assistant. Bugera using an arm first. He just leaned on his man there, going for the high ball, Sandaza. It's a packed penalty box. The two centre backs are up for Dundee United. Short it goes to Gomez. That's Dixon. Uh, Wilkie is flagged offside. That was claimed very confidently by Alan McGregor, but uh, another rehearsed move from Dundee United, trying to draw out the Rangers' defence. They did that all right, but uh, Wilkie didn't go with them. Played here from Rangers. Noble's got some space. Well, didn't have the swing across the face of goal he was looking for there. Novo. Powerful, resilient side, United. Strong challenge by Baguera and a good one. And as I felt that, he's taken a bit of time to recover from the challenge from Bouguera. Holding the back of his head there. Uncompromising challenge here by the Algerian. That's good play from Rangers Davis, finding Mendes. Uh, unusually, Mendes's pass goes astray. That's a fine recovery tackle, though. Very well timed. No margin for error there for the Portuguese. Well, Dundee United matching Rangers in terms of foreign players in the side. They have, well, they have a Frenchman, a Spaniard. Romis is a Frenchman, so that's a Spaniard. Two Irishmen, Sean Dillon and Willow Flood, and the Northern Irishman, Warren Feeney. And of course, in goal we have Saluska, the pole. That's weird, fighting it forward for Novo. 
Good play by Novo in the chest initially, but the cover was provided by Dodds. Thompson with a cross, a very good one. That's defended well by Dixon. Sundays are going to touch on that. This is Novo. A little bit hopeful, not happy there with his attempt on goal. Well, Novo is Spaniard and uh, Mendes Portuguese, Papac Bosnian, Figuera Algerian on the Rangers side. Northern Irish man and uh, Steve Davis. No dots. Great layoff by Sandaza. Beautifully cushioned there for Robertson. Now Flood has Dylan outside him. Gomez supporting from behind. That's for Robertson. Good strong play by Robertson. Back with Feeney. Patient build-up play from Dundee United. Keeping possession very effectively. This is Dixon. Chance over Robertson. Here's Sandaza, it's number two for United. They take the lead. Alan McGregor couldn't hold the initial shot from Robertson. Sandazo made him pay. Well, this was terrific play from Dundee United from a long way back, a series of passes. Then Dixon's cut back for Robertson. Difficult shot there for McGregor, who'll think he should have saved it. Well, top-class keeper, might have held that. He would expect to hold that, McGregor, but he is a top-class keeper. And he was very upset indeed about Sandaza having a chance to make it 2-1 to United. Well, Alan McGregor will no doubt consider that to be an error on his part. It wasn't easy, mind you, but a keeper of his class would have been expected to hold it. Big Levine looks calm and impassive, but... Uh, he will be overjoyed at the way in which his side has responded to going behind early on. Now well, Rangers have it all to do again. This is Bouguera. Now Papach. Winning a throw. Well, a little bit of uh, problem there. Charlie Smith, the assistant, overruled by referee Craig Thompson. Turns it out. This is Boyd bundling into Flood with an arm up there. That's why it's a free kick. An arm across the face there for Flood. No malice, of course, but uh, certainly a foul. is for Rangers that uh, had Roy O'Donovan not been ordered off at uh, Falkirk on Saturday, chances are that Francesco Sandazzo would not be in the side. We'll never know if O'Donovan would have picked up these goals. Well, he's made a big impact on the proceedings, no doubt about that, the Spaniard. Taking no chances there with that uh, safety first clearance. Well, it was apparent right the first kick of the ball at Dundee United came here with a measure of confidence. There was no tension about the play early on. Even when they went behind, they maintained their part of the play and their composure. And they've had a full reward for that so far. There's Dixon's long throw. Helped on another opportunity there for Wilkie. This crowd less than happy at the moment. And as it helps it on. There's Mendes. Godfrey had to hurry. Pressure applied on Boyd by Dodds. The referee has given an advantage there. He's made that clear when Mendes took possession. He allowed play to continue. Otherwise, it would have been a free kick. This is Novo. Trying to find a gap to go through, but uh, there's good doubling up there. Flood does some great work in looking after his countrymen behind him, Sean Dillon.
skimming off the head there of Conway. Throw it is to Rangers. Helped on well there by Boyd, but uh, Davis unable to take that on the run. Mendes and a very careful pass from Miller. Boyd lining up the shot, which is very carefully blocked by United, getting players in front of him very quickly. Davis playing it into space, looking for Broadfoot. Gomes tracking back there. Oh, he's done well, Gomes. Playing it against Broadfoot to earn the goal kick. Strong header on by Broadfoot. This is Boyd, the layoff, looking for Miller and finding him. Miller Davis. Thompson. In the playmaker position. Couldn't find Novo though. Papac can't. Promising for Rangers. The pullback blocked well by Robinson. We're very happy to see the corner kick there. Long and deep and well won by Boyd. It's still in play. Miller turning. Careful defending by Dundee United. Dylan's clearance. Rear was caught there by Conway. Rangers of a free kick. Another opportunity to maintain some pressure here on this United defence. Heather is a good one. Wilkie wins that from Broadfoot. Where well, Wilkie is invaluable in these situations. It's weird again. Dodds getting up well against Broadfoot. The Rangers supporters think that might have been a foul, but uh, it's hard to see how. Dodds going for the ball. Very cleanly I reckon this is Dylan trying to score that out Miller wins it back an error by Dylan so close for Rangers well Sean Dylan the most relieved player on the pitch excellent play by Kenny Miller Dylan wanted that to run Miller with such electric pace gets away from him and that was very close indeed just out of reach of Boyd and wide of the post. Well, he'll have to get over that, Sean Dillon. What a bad mistake it was. God puts header off, goes Boyd. God turns it away. Well, that's good play by Sandaza. Held up in the end by Broadfoot, but showing a lot of determination and skill. That's Dixon. Feeney getting up a little bit early, did a bit of climbing on the shoulder of Bouguera. The kick goes to Rangers. And there's dropping off deep to start the move. In deep position. The top class one touch player, Mendes. Keeps the play flowing, retains possession normally. Very well indeed. It's Bouguera towards Davis. A good challenge made by Dixon. Well, fascinating match now unfolding before us. Rangers with that early lead going behind now. Papach with a looping cross. Novo's in the box. It reaches Broadfoot. Feather away was by Dodd. Still in the race there with Papach and wins it. gives it straight to Scott Robertson that's fine play by Sandaza very unfortunate first touch there by Feeney had blood outside him they could have kept that moving on United were in a very good position Mendes now picks out Davis the crowd strangely hushed here watching intently as Rangers try to Get back on terms here. Mendes to Miller. Now it's with Thompson. Rangers still showing plenty of patience. Broadcoats cross, that's Novo. Finding Papac, he's onside! The equaliser from Papac! Oh, Zaluska completely beaten by excellent play from the Bosnian. Does a bad match. Makes a splendid time to get his first goal of the season. 
Well, very good, patient play here, and Noble gets all the credit too. Lofting that in, there's no question of offside. Papaj, one touch to control it, the second touch to finish, and Rangers are back on level terms. Well, he's a great credit range of the way in which they've stuck in the passing game. Good play there by Noble, what a fine intrusion by Papaj into the penalty area, not picked up this time by Willow Flood, who'll be very upset indeed, I think, for Dundee United. Fine play by Papaj. Well, raining goals at Ibrox. Remarkable opening, 37 minutes, two goals apiece, and there's a Papaj finishing with great aplomb there. Too far ahead of Craig Conway, despite his pace. Well, the crowd settled a lot more now, and Walter Smith, I'm sure, thoroughly relieved beside Ian Durant. A little discussion tactically going on. Well, Rangers supporters still looking a little bit glum, but uh, it's been a very tough contest so far, and they know that United still provide a stand test. Thompson and Robertson clash off the ball, nothing in that at all, and referee Thompson just walks across calmly, has a gentle word with both players, and that certainly was perfectly sufficient, I would reckon. Kevin Thompson now with his free kick for Rangers. Mendes trying to play it into the box, didn't quite come off. Same with Thompson. And here's Dylan. That patch closed down rapidly by Willow Flood. Well, within Quest takes place, I think Willow Flood will consider himself a little bit uh, culpable there, allowing Pat Patch to run off him into the box. Craig Levine will no doubt have noted that. Flood going for that. Wilkie helps it out. Here's Gomis. That's good play. Robertson doing well, Lafini, Flood again, good play by Weir, Mendes always managed to play with his head up to find a teammate in space like Davis on this occasion, that's good play by Broadfoot, Thompson now to Novo, who's playing much more in the middle, Papac supporting again, Mendes looking up again, assessing all the options, using Bouguera behind. No wheel. Not much happening, short, had to go long towards Boyd. Papach again, Nova's offside. It's a very good challenge made by Dixon, but it didn't matter. The flag was up instantly there for Novo. And once again, no complaint at all. Good call. So back here with uh, the central defenders for Dundee United, Dodds and Wilkie. Zaluska has to hurry, put under the pressure there. And Thompson, a nice space for Sandaza, he has Flood to the right, he has Conway on the left. Feeney's in the middle. Conway unable to get that across, Good closing down by Davis and Broadfoot. Point cross in and Fini almost got to that. Superb ball by Dixon. Flood retrieves. Oh, that's good play. And also by Papach. A great recovery tackle by Papach. Challenge from behind would have been a free kick, I think, and the ball not going to Rangers player. That's what the left is indicating. Late challenge there by Flood on the Novo. And the referee goes for the yellow card. Well, Flood hasn't been guilty of too many bad tackles. That was a heavy one. And the referee just taking a little grip in the game with a yellow card. First man to be booked is Willow Flood. It's strange to imagine they'll be the last in a game which is going to be very fiercely contested, I'm sure, right to the end. 
petit peu gueulant. Will Kidd, clearly the winner against Boyd on that occasion. Boyd, whose name came to prominence with a performance for Kilmarnock against Dundee United a year or two back when he scored five times. This time he won't have a chance because Dylan read that well. Well, it's a good match apart from that one aberration when Kenny Miller almost made United pay. Novo switched back to the left again. Here he is. 